The deadliest pandemic in U.S. history led to the biggest upending of the labor market on record. COVID-19 and the related lockdowns forcing millions of workers off payrolls and sending the jobless rate above 14 percent to the highest level in the post-World War era. We are worried about people uh, who may have problems with jobs and wages because they have to stay home. Uh, we're worried about the small businesses, for example, uh, that might need some help to get through this. Now, two years later, the unemployment rate is back below 4%, not far from where it was prior to the pandemic, but there's a glaring gap underneath that data, the labor force participation rate. It dropped to the lowest since the 1970s at the start of the pandemic and is yet to return to pre-2020 levels. It's a shortfall that represents about 1.8 million people, and it's a shortfall that pulls from both ends of the age spectrum. On one side, you have the youngest working generation, Gen Z, and on the other, seniors age 65 to 74. For the younger Americans, hundreds of thousands who were pushed out of the labor force by the pandemic have yet to find their way back. Look, I think there's already some damage to young people that's going to take them a decade to reverse. So I think of that already as some permanent scarring. While there is a big increase in participation among 16 and 17 year olds, this is likely due to the companies being forced to dip into a younger and a more inexperienced pool of workers because of the tight labor market. The next age group up hasn't been there to fill those spots. 18 to 19 year olds, 20 to 24 year olds, both groups trailing participation levels from February 2020. Why? Some answers center around the so-called great resignation, as well as a related movement dubbed anti-work, where people are reassessing the balance of their relationship with employers and then changing career paths or simply quitting the job market altogether. Others theorize that the pandemic effectively forced a gap year on young, educated workers, a chaotic time where many people figured it was better to wait it out before settling on a chosen career path. Whatever the reason, Gen Z has so far failed to join the jobs recovery like other age brackets. The same could be said for the older gap, but that might be easier to explain. Those numbers reflect factors like health safety from COVID and the asset price boom that helped fuel retirement savings and home equity. A lot of Americans 65 and older who were still working decided to retire earlier than planned. Some of these people will likely unretire as inflation eats into their savings and a job market boom entices them back to work. But the hit to participation has been so big that it's hard to see the gap being closed quickly.